Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 7 today, verses 18 and 19. Just the beginning of another section here, and let's read it. Then the disciples of John reported to him concerning all these things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? Well, that's kind of a weird thing for John the Baptist to say. We all thought John the Baptist was the the forerunner for Jesus. If John isn't sure about Jesus being Messiah, well, then who will be? So we just passed this just the other previous morning. Jesus raised a man from the dead in our reading. And uh, these, this report goes back to John. And yet Jesus isn't really coming out and he's not doing all the things that John sort of expected, you know. So he says, you know, we need, we need to get a definite, let's get a definite answer on this. Uh, he already proclaimed him to be the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of world, the world. That's in John, the Gospel of John. But here John sends disciples to Jesus and makes this question, are you the coming one or do we look for another? In other words, there was a sort of a, a piece in John that came up that rose up, kind of a piece of, I think, maybe some impatience here. Look, if you can raise the dead, well, you know, let's get on with things. You know, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's move the Romans out of the way and, and get on with the kingdom. But, you know, God's timing and your timing and my timing usually are a bit different, aren't they? We, we seem to be way ahead of God. We're, we're faster. It's got to be done faster. And yet what we often find out is that God's slower way was the way it has to be. And so uh, in this case, you know, Jesus is partway into his ministry. He's got a lot more that he wants to do over this time. And so uh, John would like to see him get on with it. But we're going to see what happens as these disciples come and ask Jesus this question, are you the one or do we look for another? And I think there's some impatience. You got the best of John, maybe got the best of some of his disciples. And I know for a fact that impatience sometimes has gotten the best of me, perhaps the best of you. We thought that God was moving too slowly, when in fact God was perhaps moving as fast as he could move in a way that was still safe for accomplishing his kingdom purposes. So let's slow down and say, God, your kingdom purpose is in front, uh, front and foremost, and they be your way, and let us not uh, get ahead of you, and let us not question God's timing too much. Uh, John here is seems like he's a little bit, little bit urgent, and it's understandable, but let's pray. Father in heaven, your timing is always best. That's been my experience in all these years of serving you. And many have served you many longer years than I have, and I think they've learned the same thing. Lord, help us to wait upon you. Help us to not get ahead of the curve, ahead of the kingdom, ahead of your plan. Uh, Lord, help us to uh, be faithful and patient, and we will always come out ahead when we wait upon your plans and your kingdom. Lord, be our leader today. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for the Gospel of Luke and the insights you're giving us through your servant, Luke, the physician. Lord, bless us. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, may God's blessings be upon you today and, and let him give you some, some of that patience that perhaps you and I, I know I need uh, to receive more of. God bless you.